In this section, we are exploring orthogonal diagonalization of symmetric matrices. So let's quickly recall that we've previously observed that a square matrix with real entries will not necessarily have real eigenvalues. We've also observed that not all square matrices are diagonalizable. However, this situation changes dramatically when we restrict our attention to real symmetric matrices. So let's quickly recall that a symmetric matrix is one that equals its own transpose. So if we restrict our observation to real symmetric matrices, we're going to observe that all eigenvalues of a real symmetric matrix are real, and such a matrix is always diagonalizable. Now, this is important enough to warrant a new definition. So let's take a look. We say that a square matrix is orthogonally diagonalizable if there exists an orthogonal matrix Q and a diagonal matrix D such that the transpose of Q times matrix A times matrix Q is equal to the diagonal matrix D. So with this definition in mind, we are interested in finding conditions under which a matrix is orthogonally diagonalizable. So to help us establish these conditions, we have the following theorem. So again, this next theorem is going to help us to identify the conditions under which a matrix is orthogonally diagonalizable. And this theorem tells us that if matrix A is orthogonally diagonalizable, then matrix A is symmetric. So let's go ahead and verify that this theorem holds true. So to begin, we want to let matrix A be orthogonally diagonalizable. Then by definition, we know this implies that there exists an orthogonal matrix Q and diagonal matrix D such that the transpose of matrix Q times matrix A times matrix Q is equal to the diagonal matrix D. Now, since matrix Q is an orthogonal matrix, we know by definition that the inverse of matrix Q is equal to the transpose of matrix Q and that the conditions of invertible matrices holds true for the transpose of matrix Q. Now, let's keep in mind that our goal here is to show that this implies matrix A is symmetric. Or in other words, that matrix A is equal to its transpose. So with this in mind, let's take this equation and left hand multiply by matrix Q. And we can rewrite this by applying the properties of invertible matrices to attain the equation matrix A times matrix Q equals matrix Q times matrix D. Now, if we right hand multiply this equation by the transpose of matrix Q, and again, rewrite this using the properties of invertible matrices, we can rewrite this equation as matrix A is equal to matrix Q times the diagonal matrix D times the transpose of matrix Q. Now, taking the transpose of this equation and applying the properties of the transpose of a matrix and applying the property that all diagonal matrices are symmetric, we realize that matrix Q times matrix D times the transpose of matrix Q is equal to matrix A. Now, wait a second. Since A transpose is equal to matrix A, then by definition, matrix A is symmetric, which is exactly what we were looking for. Woohoo! So we have officially verified that if matrix A is orthogonally diagonalizable, then matrix A is symmetric which completes our proof. Now, before we continue our exploration, let's pause for a cause and really think about what this last theorem is telling us. So this last theorem says that if A is orthogonally diagonalizable, then A is symmetric. So this theorem shows us 
that the orthogonally diagonalizable matrices are all to be found among the symmetric matrices. Now, we need to exercise a little caution here. Be mindful that this theorem does not imply that the converse is true. In other words, it does not say that every symmetric matrix must be orthogonally diagonalizable. However, as we will soon see, it is a remarkable fact that this is indeed true. While this theorem doesn't verify the truth of the statement, we will be able to verify it by the end of this section. So stay tuned and get excited.